Now I've got some fantastic frames here. Now these are the hexagon frames that fit the stepper box uh, templates. Now you'll love the stepper box templates. These are the ones here. If you have a quick look at this, this is one of the finished one. There you go. If you have a quick look at this, there you go. You can see that. Now this is the stepper card, but you can see on the front it's got a frame, a heart shape. Well, we've got loads of different types of frames in different sets. Now I'm just going to go through this particular set and show you what you're going to get. Now if you want hex hexagonal, can't even say it, hexagonal frames around your box step cards, well then this is the set for you. It makes, I'll go through these in a minute, I'll just show you what you're going to get first. Now you've got various, various options. Let me show you the sizes first. You've got the large one there, so you can make a large one. But within that template, you can cut out. You could have the square that matches. You can have the octagonal shape in the middle. So that goes over where you've got a shaker card or you've got acetate with uh, decoupage. And you've got three different sizes. So you've got various options. Now, when you see a line on the template, that means where the base of the card is. So if you choose this outer design, you're going to need to just cut across the bottom there so it fits neatly. I've got a few samples showing you what to do. That is the next size down, as you can see. So let's put these down as you can go. Then you've got that size and that size. You've got six basic sizes in this particular template set. And these are the octagonal, not octagonal, hexagonal frames that go over the top. So basically, what do you do? Well, you cut these out, choose the ones that you want, and just print them off as you want them. Once you've, once you've printed them off, this one is to fit this size of card, this one here. So there you go, I've got that card. There's the card, I'll look at this up close and personal. There's the card, and you can see at the moment, I've actually left the flaps here on the outside. So if you, you can do that, or you can stick them onto the inside so you've got more. It depends on what you do. This is the basic stepper card. Now, I've cut out these different shapes from those templates. Now, I'm only going to show you one size, but don't forget the six sizes of the cards, and they fit every one. So you've got loads and loads of different, um, different options with each set. So let me just find this one for you. Uh, is it that one? No, it's the next one up. This will be the third size up. So that's how you get it. There is the base. Now from that, you could choose to cut that template out, where you're cutting the whole thing out and you're cutting the centre bit out like that. So there is your frame to go on the front. And that's going to give you, let me just find the right one for you. And it is that one. There you go. That is the shape. I've just All I do is place that over a piece of card and draw around it with a pencil and then cut it out. So if you want to take turn that into something like that, you can see that fits over the aperture perfectly. So you've got a card and you've got a hexagonal uh, border going around there as well. Now you could choose to cut out. Don't forget you can print this out as many times as you want. But you think, well, I don't quite want that shape. I want... I want a square in the middle, so you can cut the same out, but this time, instead of, um, instead of you see this one here, I'll lay it over the top, that's exactly the same size, but instead of doing the hexagonal, I've done the exact size of the square. So with that one, you end up with, yes, that's it there. There's the base of it there, because you've got the flat bit there. So if you want that to go on the card, that will then fit precisely over the top like that and you've got the card and you've got the hexagonal border frame to go around that too. So you can do, obviously do these in any colours and you've also got more options here. It's entirely up to you. There's another option there. So you might think, well, I want the square, but I don't want it as big. I just want a nice little simple frame now. So all you do is cut that bit out, cut the centre bit out and put that onto a piece of card like I've got underneath here. Draw around it and then cut it out and you end up with a aperture like that. Now, you can either put it on that way and that fits over the top there like so and there you've got a hexagonal um, border or you can put it that way as well. So you've got, instead of the flat at the top, you've got the, um, you've got the pointed bit at the top. So from that one set of patterns, hexagonal patterns, you can make not only six different sizes to match the pattern, the box patterns, the template, stepper, 
the stepper templates that you've got. You can also do various options for different hexagonal frames to go around the end. So there is that, this one's for this size, but don't forget you can do them for all six sizes. So this is the kind of thing that you're going to end up with here, you can see. And uh, if you want that, you need to download the hexagonal uh, frames.